Okay, our second speaker is Miranda Stevenson, OBE. And I know she's embarrassed about that, but she shouldn't be. She's, she's wonderful. From Biaza. I'm sure she'll explain what Biaza is. Thanks, Miranda. <clears throat> Thank you, Ray. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here. Um, and it's a great pleasure to be able to tell you about um, the British and Irish Association of Zoos and Aquariums and the importance of this sector. Um, I think probably we've got a slightly lower awareness rating than the V&A, so um, <laughs> I thought I'd just explain a little bit about um, what our organisation does and what our sector does. Um, Excellent, it works. Um, we cover the UK and Ireland. Uh, we've got um, just over 100 members. Um, we are uh, a very significant um, visitor attraction in the about a third of the population visit just our members uh, in a year. Um, we are also important um, in the, for the role of education in the 1.3 million undergo um, formal organized education sessions. And our sector also contributes about 13 million pounds to field conservation uh, in a year with over 300 projects. And this is a very important part of our work. Uh, and in this decade of biodiversity, it is uh, uh, extremely pertinent. Uh, and we have an important role in awareness raising and biodiversity. However, we're also very important um, for the economy. Our members contribute some um, three quarters of a, of, a bil of a billion in total activity. Uh, uh, we are, our members are significant tourists and visitor attractions and spend some 246 million, uh, which is obviously enhanced by the supply chain. Um, and the direct and indirect employment um, amounts um, to some 11 um, thousand people across the economy. So we are a significant, um, uh, we do have a significant economic impact. Um, we updated uh, our data uh, recently uh, with, um, that data was from 2008, we've now updated it with data from 2010. Um, and we've moved on, we've now got dialogue with DBIS, uh, re, uh, which revolves around um, the options which may assist our sector um, in its important role in the economy. Um, and our latest economic impact assessment shows that despite the prevailing employment climate, um, we, our 11,000 jobs have remained solid. Uh, and when, while the UK GDP has increased by 1.3% um, in the two years, uh, Biaz's contribution grew by 2%, Biaz's members' contribution. So we are a reasonably healthy um, sector of the economy. We also, however, um, as with um, the museums, we're very important we have a very important role in public attitudes to science. And indeed, a report published by the uh, DBIS department uh, in 2011 showed that visiting zoos was one of the most popular, frequent, and accessible science engagement activities. Um, it also showed um, that zoos operate, um, have an important educational role, um, fielding some 250 um, professional teachers and other educators um, which um, deliver these um, organised sessions. So, we also are um, important for our social inclusivity. Um, and all ages and socio-economic backgrounds visit zoos and aquariums. Uh, nearly every child we reckon of a formative age, we've, our members specialise particularly in primary education, visit a zoo or aquarium. And we're very geographically dispersed and people come with an open mind, they come with a happy frame of mind. We've heard of the importance of the experience economy and I hope this has explained what an important part um, our sector plays in that experience economy. Thank you.